What's the definition of Triska decophobia? Uh, like the holes in things? <laughs> That's also my the Pornhub search. The the holes. <laughs> Just show me holes in things. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 77 of Dropouts, the podcast where hopefully next week Jared won't be here because we don't like him. Also, I, what, why, hey, don't why, take it personally. Why are you taking that out on that me? That was supposed to come off sweet, actually. We have a co-host that's not even here. I Take not, it out on her. How am I supposed to take it out on her if she's not even here? I don't know. I'm frustrated with her and I'm trying to get on in you. Okay, so can you be respectable and sit there even though you did nothing wrong and let me hound you and maybe contemplate if we're even friends, okay? I'm trying to hurt you internally because of what someone else did. All right. That's so messed up. Well, uh, it's been working for my family for years. <laughs> hey, what's just kidding, guys. My family's great. Well, That's, I feel like what did you just see my family's maybe not great. That was a complete joke. <laughs> Jared, so you apologize to my family to camera. I apologize. It's some intro music. I don't okay. care anymore. Oh, man. How okay. How far into the podcast? do we think she's going to show up? So if you don't know, um, if you don't hear like a loud screaming voice into your headphones, that's probably because Indy's missing. And you'd be like, oh my gosh, what happened? Did, is, did something seriously happen to her? Is, is she okay? Um, I Okay, this is my guess. Okay, She put in hair, in, uh, hair extensions yes. and she didn't like them. Okay. So I think she's taking them out or curling her hair and that's all the rigmarole. Because she's the one, so currently it is 8.33, and she's like, hey, let's start filming at 7. And I was like, no chance she's going to be here at 7. But And then I came to you, and I said, what time are we filming the podcast? And then you even said 7.30. So, I had to give you, her that 30-minute leeway. You gave her an extra 30-minute leeway. Okay. And, and now, then 8 o'clock rolled around, and she still wasn't here. So, so we gave her a call, and she said, I'll be over in five minutes. And how? what time was that? That was that was at eight. That was at eight. And then I tried calling her again. Well, is, is Australian time different though? Like we didn't. Oh, you think it's like um, like interstellar? Yeah, because like five minutes over here is like is like, like four hours over there. No, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we yeah. don't know the international exchange of time. So like like five. So maybe that's our bad. I think being, that's we're kind of time insensitive. We're time toxic. We're time toxic. Oh, that's really depressing. You ever find <laughs> out something about yourself and you find out that you're toxic about a, a made up. Uh, time do you ever do you ever read comments and like because people on the internet will say anything about you to kind of like put you down a little bit uh -huh. what, uh, do you ever find something where you didn't even know that was an insecurity till till somebody said it i feel like i haven't uh i i haven't gotten that much hate yet i should probably get some more um somebody i mean this isn't Somebody pointed out I have big teeth once, um, but I already knew that. Are you insecure about your big teeth? A little bit, yeah. Why? I feel like well, well, I feel like equally though you get as many of oh, wow, you have such a beautiful smile and nice teeth. I do. So which one do you believe, Jared? Well, you always believe it's kind of like that thing where you can read a thousand good comments, but that one negative comment will stick with you forever, right? So like I could have a thousand. I wish people. your teeth were bigger. Well, why would you wish that? Because then I would look cooler next to you. You already look cooler next to me. Jared, we have already said you're the bad boy of the podcast. <laughs> and is... honestly, your ego has been through the roof recently. Um, I no. I have a few I stories like... I should bring up, but I'm not going to. Oh, Indy just texted me. She was, she, oh, she said, I'm coming. Oh, okay. One so... thing Jared's never heard from a girl, but uh, <laughs> Indy is on the way. I'm sorry. I've been on the phone to my mom. Oh, um, and for those of you that don't know, her mom uh, went back to Australia. So... Indy is now flying solo dolo. I actually feel really bad for her mom because she's in quarantine. Quarantine. So when you go back to Australia um, right now, you have to go to quarantine for two weeks. So you have to be in a hotel by yourself and you can't see anyone, which sounds really scary. And they have time slots for food. Indy was telling me this. So they'll have 10 minutes to when like they can order food on an app and they might be brought food too. But if you order food on the app, you have 10 minutes to open your door, bring the food in and close the door and an alarm will go off. You have an hour to eat what? and put your food back out or an alarm will go off. Or if you miss that window, then you just got to keep your trash in your room for the next day. Oh my God. I thought that was a little crazy. That's intense. I didn't realize that like they had alarms going off and anything. That sounds. Yeah. They were trying to get Indy and her mom on a flight back home. 
but something happened. So since Indy became a citizen of the United States, they took her passport. And oh, she yeah. couldn't. They took her passport and her green well, card. Well, it was so hard getting a flight anyway. Like nobody can get a flight to Australia. So they were able to get one for her mom. So Indy was like, you have to take it. And her mom even kind of wanted to stay back for her because she didn't want to leave her. Her mom almost missed the flight because they weren't actually, it was that thing that airlines do where they like overbook, which yeah. is so messed up. Like how, how are airlines allowed to overbook and then just pray that people don't show up? So this is Indy's second Christmas away from Australia. And this now is, she doesn't even have that, that she mom. hasn't seen her family. Jared, we're gotta be we're, we're gonna be a little sweet to her when she comes, okay? I know I know, hey, me and you are mad uh, right now. Okay. Let's well, get, I was gonna give her the punishment glasses for okay, being late. Okay, you have to give her the punishment glasses for being late, but we'll be sweet and considerate since she hasn't seen her family in two years and maybe she's calling her mom and her mom is alone in a hotel room and she's just trying to comfort her a little bit, okay? Doesn't she have to quarantine twice? Because yeah. didn't she fly into uh she flew into Sydney? And then they, which is on no, the no, no. I think she's, I think she's quarantining it in Perth. Oh, she, is. Okay. which is Western Australia. If you kids don't know a map. Oh, look who it is. There she is. And look who's here. Indiana Woo! just walked in the door. Not late at all. But there is one thing we got to tell you. Um, um, since you're, you're late, you have a ten minute punishment. I'm not wearing the glasses. You, just well, wear them for on, ten minutes. I'm just in my makeup. It doesn't eyes. matter. What are glasses gonna do? You're it's punished. It's on my makeup. No. What do you mean? No, you middle. can't show up ten minutes late and it's not accept. This How is it going to mess up hey, your makeup? Hey. Because it's going to rub my nose off. Hey, wait, wait, listen, listen. Is messing up your makeup worse than this is your job and you were late and you should be punished? And me and Jared already spoke about it. We were going to punish you way worse. And wait. we decided we, oh, you don't we were going to hit you, honestly. <laughs> no, we weren't. We were going to we were gonna both fight you. But we decided against that. They're ballistic tested. Okay, great. We'll put yeah. them on. And makeup approved. Now say you're sorry to the viewers and mean it. Did somebody say mean it? Go stream, mean it. Jared, Jared stop. Emerson no, Jared no, no. On Spotify, no. Apple You don't even put out music on. anymore. I'm tired of it. Hey, I'm getting there. Okay, I'm working apologize. on some cool stuff. She needs to apologize. <laughs> I look rad. Mm. Not even a punishment. I'm sorry. Rad is what are you sorry a word for? that... For being tardy. Tardy or an hour and a half late? There's a difference. I already said I need an extension, so you can't... No, you said you're putting in extensions. There's a big difference. No, I said I needed an... Ex <laughs> I, yes. But when I said did, I when did you say you need an, an extension? Till eight. Okay. Okay. So, I'm so still okay. Okay. Late, yeah. Well, no, it's eight forty. Oh, so I'm forty minutes late. So it's not an hour though. So, so you're all, you're lucky. We're only giving you ten minutes in those glasses. So what are we talking about? Uh, we're gonna talk about. Oh, I want to talk about this. So, we, Indiana, you are never not on your phone, correct? <laughs> she's always on her phone, and she's okay. having distraction problems where she can't focus on anything. And she's like, it's affecting my work. It's affecting my blah, blah, blah. I said, you know what we're about to do? We're about to set an app limit on your phone. I haven't even hit my limit yet today. Wow. And how do you feel? Pretty good. Tell them, tell them how long you were on. What was your average daily? Tell them how long now? you were on TikTok last week. Let me have a look. So she was on her phone for 26 hours last week, just on TikTok. <laughs> just on TikTok? No, it doesn't say that. I think it was actually 27. <laughs> oh, so it was more. <laughs> we thought my my average was bad because we said, what, 27 hours in a week? Okay. For just TikTok. That's one app, though. It's just TikTok. Just TikTok. Okay. Well, Riley was on her phone for 23 hours and 36 minutes yesterday. I don't know if Wait. that's even possible. How, she I, was I saw her daily average. But she was sleeping. She kept her phone going while she was sleeping because she was on the phone to Ethan. Oh, yeah. She's done that a couple she, times. She only slept for like nine or 10 hours. The other fucking. That's a lot. So I'm Smile not that bad. Me? Yeah. No. Okay. I, I definitely have a phone problem. I will admit to that. And that causes me to be late to things. It causes me to be distracted. It causes me to have attention span issues. And like Jared's got a drinking problem, Coke problem. Yeah, I've so got. I don't have any of those things. Zach is perfect. So clearly. He's no, got I'm it. not perfect. I have. Uh, Far from it. That hey. really hurt my feelings. Well, you said I had a Coke issue. I've, I haven't even drinking soda. Drinking. Drank soda. Well, first of all, we were talking about hardcore drugs. But <laughs> Second of all, um, I understand that I riff at you, but you seem like a better person than me. So I never thought you'd take a dig back. And I feel like you're kind of lowering yourself as a human being. Like, it's kind of my thing to be like the a-hole and like say mean things about other people. And I like, thought I was supposed no, to be no, no, the I get, of the no, podcast. First of all. Yeah. Can we talk about what you said last night? What did Jared say? He leant back. He leant back in his chair and he went, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm a bad boy now. I you did say I that. didn't say I didn't say I'm a bad boy now. I yes. said no 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 no. Zach. But I, wait, here I me said out. no more Mr. Nice Guy. I said welcome to my villain origin story. And you said I'm a bad boy now. You did say I'm a bad boy now, and I will say this: no bad boy has ever announced that they're a bad boy. 
Okay, well, I'm new to the game. Okay, <laughs> give me a little leeway. Wait, wait, can, can we can we explore this, your bad boyness? I actually think this is quite interesting. So what in what realms do you want to be a bad boy? I just don't want to be walked over anymore. Okay, you do know? you mind if we do some role-playing scenarios? Okay. Okay, what are some... What are some scenarios you think you get walked over? Okay, I've got one. Can I just bring it to yeah, your attention? Yeah, okay. Is this, this is role play mode. Okay, role play mode. Okay, are you a character or are you Indiana? I'm a character. Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> right? Oh, that huh. seemed targeted. Okay, like I said, I'm new to the game. Sometimes you make mistakes. Okay, that's what this bad boy okay. thing is. Okay, I, I, did, I did well during the day, though. You, you always do well during the day, and then it's when once night falls is when once, you fuck once up. the moon. That's comes the same out. thing when like you're texting a girl. Yeah, for some reason when the night goes down, boys turn into werewolves, and we're just like absolute animals. When was and then when, you have to face them the next day at school. Yeah, and you're like I was always very wholesome with it. Like I I thought what I was saying was really <laughs> like it was like middle school. I was like yeah, you ever like kissed anybody before? Or, like who would you want to kiss? If you, like if you had to name someone in our class to kiss, like who would you? Were you really that and, type? Does it does it rhyme with like back no, mustis? But, but you, you know they'd like you when they'd be like, oh, he was he has like uh, like brown hair or whatever. Oh, when they describe you without describing you, that was that was my favorite. I would always pull that shit too. <laughs> you describe them without describing them. Yeah. So say the so yeah say it's a blonde girl with blue eyes. You're like yeah she's got like uh, not really green eyes but <laughs> uh, more azul um, more azul. Okay, you need to be a bad boy right now, and give him give him a test. Just act like my ex. No, no, that's sorry. that's that's the that's a bad person, not a bad boy. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I I sometimes have trouble. It is that. it's a it's a fine line. It's a to very walk. fine line to walk okay, the line sorry. of like I'm a bad boy and I'm out of your league to I'm psychotic and I hear a criminal. So charges, you don't want to be a pushover, so. is what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. But do you want to be like a bad boy when it comes to like women, or just you don't want to be a pushover? I don't want to be a pushover. Okay. And, okay. In what ways do you think you're pushover right now? Um, Cause I want to get bring up that scenario. I feel like I'm too kind, like to everyone in general, and like I, like I say yes to things that I don't actually want to do. So like I, I learned to need, or I need to learn how to say no more. Okay, uh, okay. I'm gonna give you something you don't want to do. Okay, and you got to say no. Okay. Hey Jared, I was thinking we could uh, hug for an extended period of time. Are you Zach in this situation or a, a character? Zach. Then yeah, I want to hug for you. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, oh, hey, okay. Oh, wait, hey Jared, can you go to the store and pick this up for me? I just don't feel like doing it right now. In uh, in my head, I, I wanted to be like, sure, I can do that for mm -hmm. you. When I could literally be doing anything else that I probably need okay, to be well, doing. Okay, well then tell me that. Hey Jared, can you go to the store for me? I just I'm so tired today. Can you just you mind just picking me up something, please, like a candy bar? Could you give me a candy bar at the store, Jared? I, I wish I could, but I got stuff to work on. Oh, my back's really hurting. I, I think it was spasming. Like nothing would make me happier than this. If you could just, if you wouldn't mind just being a good friend on this one. I I, you know what? Well, if you pull out the back spasm, people don't. Oh, wait, wait, let him get him. Let him get himself out of this. I really, God, and that's just, I really can't. And it means a lot I, that I have you, to, no, I'm no, on no, like a time crunch before right you, now. Before you say yes, I want to say something because you're so kind. Before you were about to tell me yes, because I don't know that's what you're about to do. I just want to say, Jared, that you're this, you're so sweet for doing this for me. And like, it warms my heart that we have a friendship where I can be in pain and you're going to go do this for me. Thank you so much. What were you going to say though? And I'm, you're the best guy, might I add. What were you going to say? I'm really on a time crunch. So I- Oh, I, so I no can't. worries, no worries. Yeah, you can just- You, you don't have to go. visibly stressed. I am. You don't have to go anywhere else. You're right. Just zip back and forth. Thank you so much. Because this is a fake scenario, but I still want to say yes. I'm done with this. Ah, that was like nine minutes. So well, we'll count that. If there are marks on my nose- There's not. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, <laughs> it's gonna happen. I don't see any ruffalos or or Wahlbergs or uh -uh. no marks on. <laughs> There's there. a Zuckerberg though, so oh. you might want to take care of that. Yeah, because he up. will not respect your privacy. Let's talk about this. I'm so sad. I miss all the fun events. Do you guys realize that? Well, why don't you turn 21 already? I'm sorry. So Jared and I got invited to uh, the screening of this up and coming comedy television show called MacGruber, which, which was, started as an SNL skit. And like Kristen Wiig was there. Mm -hmm. Um. A bunch of big time actors. The guy from The Matrix that Jared loves, Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. I watched The Matrix today. But anyway, the we new one. No, oh. the original. So the president of Peacock is there, which is a big deal because that's a giant streaming network. And and we all go to the. Oh, app. You, you got to talk about what? What the, do I got to talk about? You talk about. I'm we streamlining went, the story. No, but we went. You got. You're missing uh, an important part because we went to the screening. We're whatever. Well, why don't you tell a story and I'll no, sit here. No, you no, no, into no. The room. 
Yeah. Oh, that okay. was weird. Okay. That's, so yeah. I did miss it. There you go. This is me being a bigger person and apologizing. I'm sorry, Jared, for I'm getting so angry. for an apology. Well, you're going to get one anyway. Thank you. Don't be a pushover. Don't accept it. Oh. No, thank you. No, thank you. There we go. He's learning. Um, um, I thought it was. Ooh, now it's a cool Christmas tree. I thought it was funny. So the screening's over and Jared and I sit. Um, second from the last row and right behind us are all the actors and the directors and everyone that was in the movie, the creators of the show. Are they in the last row? Yeah, mm -hmm. they're in the last row in the back and we're in the, the row right ahead of them so all their seats were, were reserved and when the movie's over, everyone's funneling out the bottom and we're at the top and there's an exit at the top and I was just like, yeah, let's just go this way because like, I don't want to walk all the way down there. It seems like we're, everybody's going to the same place and we walk in and it's just Jared and I with all the stars of the show like Kristen Wiig and Will... F what was his name? Will Forte. Will Forte and, and your boy you're talking about. The directors, the execs. The and like Bob Saget from Full House. Show. Yeah. Um, so everybody's just like mingling like, oh, like, we did it. We did such a great job. And then Jared and I are just in like the corner, like trying to pretend like, like we're supposed to be there, yeah. even though they all know that we're not supposed to be there, um, which was which was kind of funny. Um, and then we so we get out of there. We go to the after party. You want to take it from here, big boy? Well, okay. So we're in that room and then we're thinking about leaving. And then eventually like all the, the crowd starts moving. We're like, okay, we're just going to follow them. So then we, we follow them out and we start walking. I didn't even, did you know there was an after party? Cause I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know there was an after party. Okay. I didn't know there was an after party. Anyway, we follow them. Um, and it was, it was really cool. Uh, Cause I, I had this moment where like, I didn't realize cause everyone was wearing masks. Um, but we go outside and one of the creators, of the show took off his mask and it was um it was one of the guys from the lonely island and i would like i got a little starstruck because i was like that's pretty cool um but anyway so we follow them to this uh it's at it's on usc's campus um and we go to this it's like, like an airplane hangar after like it's, it's a, an it's after party in an airplane hangar and there's like fireballs it, it was it's a converted uh swimming like pool like swimming arena not arena but yeah like hangar i like to think it was an airplane hangar Okay, fine. It's an airplane hanger. Well, what is an airplane hanger? So basically, if you have an airplane, you gotta hang it out in there. It's like a metal, oh. big metal building. Oh, yeah. okay. The president of Peacock was there, and we know we knew she was the president because she announced, like, "Thank you guys for coming to our new show," and like that's the president of a giant company that, and we're in like the media, so that's a big deal to us. Like, it's somebody we want to maybe become friends with, and. uh Everyone was kind of a little scared to talk to her because all the big wigs, like Kristen Wig, like every, those were the type Literally, of people going yeah. up to her, going up to her. And then Jared and I are just there, like, um, let's go say hi to the president. Yeah, why not? And we she we're, seemed approachable. We were thinking of pitches of of how to break the ice. So so I just walked up to her and I said hello from the Youth of America. And, <laughs> and then she's like, oh hey, this is the Youth of America. But she actually thought it was pretty funny. And she's like, I'm so sorry. I try to lead in with jokes. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm not wearing shoes. I found that very endearing. It's like, oh, the president of the company took off her heels and now she's amongst the people. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm sorry, I took off my shoes. I hope that doesn't offend you. I said, actually, it offends all of us. You can put it back on. Um, it's making all of us pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, and then, <laughs> like you and said that to the president of the network and but she laughed and that's she how i knew laugh. we were in she's like you gotta meet my husband she brings the husband over and he, and then she's like this is they introduced themselves as the youth of america he thought that was funny and then i said so where are you from she said maryland and and then she's like but i married an la boy and then i tried to appeal to her human side because i was generally interested like it's hard to become the president of peacock um i said uh are you petting santa it's weird why why not santa needs love too Santa needs love to Santa you, you, only you gets expect, love one day a year. Yeah, you just expect him to give, 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 and you never give something back to Santa? Huh? Sorry. You selfish. <laughs> <laughs> you sound just like Mrs. Claus. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I, I kind of got her by herself for a second, and I was like, hey, I know you're the president of this big company, but do you ever just sit in your office like alone and be like, how did I get here? <laughs> and she was like, oh, 100% all the time. Like I have like all these big responsibilities, but sometimes I like become a little girl and like, oh my, this is so cool. This is so cool. And I was really like, that was really endearing to me to see her, um, just see her like human side. Yeah. And, like instead of, cause I feel like everybody wants something from her. So since we led with like jokes, instead of like, here's my resume, she was. And like genuinely interested yeah, about her life. Cause was, it was, it was cool. Like she was telling us about like how she got there and she's like, I worked at Google for 12 years and they're like media division. And then I transferred to Hulu for like four years. And then all of a sudden gets an offer from like, I think Peacock's NBC. Right. Yeah. And then gets an offer to be like the president of. And, that's, and then that's streaming. where uh, the office is being streamed. We literally know. subscribed to Peacock purely for that. And I recently found out that Peacock also streams 
show that I used to be on. So that was chicken, girls. chicken girls. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Um, well, before we get on that, I was going to say, I, so I invited the president of Peacock to be in our podcast. I, and she said, she said, so talk much. to my people. <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure who her people are, but I'm going to find them. We got to find pink jacket lady. But no, uh, she said, talk to her people. So we can't be like, all right, your people talk to me. Cause that's not cool. We got to have our own people. We got to have our own. I people. can be people. No, you're part of the people. Oh, yeah. You can't. You got to be like. We got to have like somebody we hire to be our people. Oh, okay. Right? Let's hire for a weekend. Let's John. hire John. Yeah. Well, be John. Well, John will start playing like the washboard or something. And that's <laughs> amazing. Okay, that could be endearing. Our right, John be really could be our good people. At that. Okay, John's our people. Um, I just thought it'd be really cool if like the president of like a network was just here talking about. Oh yeah, this is the shows we're gonna have on this month. I was like, that's a big decision. I don't know. I thought it was. Cool. I know it was. It was really cool talking to her. And then like you know, we went up to like there's so many people there that like oh Lord. Big, big names in comedy. Yeah, you know who are you gonna say? Oh, like the workaholic boys were there, but the, yeah, like Blake and Anders from Workaholics were there. Um, um, but we went up to what's his name? Tim Robinson. Yeah, we said hi to him. But well, uh, Lawrence. Is that Fishburne. the guy that has that show on Netflix? Yeah. yeah. The Lawrence Fishburne, he's the guy from The Matrix. He's the black guy that like does the pills. Yeah, Morpheus. Yeah, I don't know his name. Um, that, I, my mom like, wouldn't let me watch when I was little, so I never like got hooked on it. That's his role that I was like most excited about. But he's a, you could tell he's a very serious actor. And like we were with like actor friends, and they're all like shaking his hand, like how are you doing? Oh, it was nice to meet you. And then I shook his hand. I was like, you looked like you knew what you were doing up there. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, thank you. I've been doing it a while. Was, yeah, but he he laughed at my jokes, so it made me feel good. But it was, it was really cool. He was super nice. We talked to um, uh, Billy Zane, who plays the villain. Hey, sorry. I accidentally turned on Santa. He made a little jingle, and we're past it now, Okay, Jay. I apologize. Um, but we talked to Billy Zane, um, who plays the villain in the show. But he's also been in things like The Mummy and Titanic. And most recently, um, he played Ari in the, the series True Story with Kevin Hart that just came out on Netflix. I've heard it's really good. And I flipped out because I had literally just finished watching that series. Did, oh, did you like it? I, yeah, I really I've heard it's it. really good. Um, and, uh, and, but he was like, he was clean shaven, so I didn't recognize him. But then I fl- freaked out and he, he thought that was really endearing. But we talked to him, but like Paul Shear was there. Like he's been on shows like The League and stuff like that. It was really cool just like seeing all these big names in comedy. LeBron like, was there. I wish, dude. Yeah, I was like, really? I'm still salty about the one time that I was meant to. Okay. Can I just bring this up for a second? Because it hurts my heart. Sorry that I'm not allowed to express my That's emotions. That's also not really my fault. We've spoken about this briefly before, but there was an event, um, Space Jam. Months ago. Space Jam 2, where we could have we could have gone. And, oh, at Six Flags. And exclusively hung out with LeBron and rode every roller coaster with him. I could have sat right next to him. And mm, Indy. I think he can fit on a roller coaster. And Indy. I'm pretty scared of Wouldn't him. let us go. Really? He's scared of roller coasters. I have no idea. Oh. He just seems like the type to be scared she was of too tired. That's not what happened. I actually don't remember what the reason was. The reason was is that you asked. So we heard about the event and I did not have an invite. None of us had an invite. I thought we had an invite. No, we didn't have an invite. That's why I'm like, why the fuck is this my fault? We did not have an invite. I also Somebody we said, had an invite. no, we did <laughs> not have an invite. If I had to put money on it, we had an invite. We didn't have an invite. You guys said, make sure you text Julie Russell and follow up about getting an invite. We did not have oh, wait, an did invite. Oh, did you do that? No, I oh, do not. Oh, that's where we blame you. And that's you. where you blame me. Gotcha. But also, so we could have had an invite. But also, one, I didn't know Julie Russell as close as I am to her now. And two, LeBron probably misses me. Shh. I wasn't as close with her just yet, so I didn't want to feel like I was using her just for invites to places because I know people do that to her a lot, so I didn't want that to like feel like what I was doing. Two, I also did absolutely forget to do it, so. Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing a big thing. We're trying to remodel Indy's mind for being able to focus on things. Yeah, that's why I'm seeing a psychiatrist on the 14th. Guys, I put myself in therapy. I don't know. Like, it's been on and off. Thanks, guys. It's been an on and off thing for about a year and a half now. Um, but I found a therapist that I really, really enjoy. And she's super, her name's Sarah. She's very calming. I like her a lot. She's already given me a lot of strategies to help combat my anxiety. Um, give us a few. If anybody has anxiety, give us a few. Okay, so something that she taught me was when you're having a panic attack or anxiety attack, um, you need to start to reset your nervous system because it starts to become a very physical thing versus like a mental thing. Um, well, it's both, but like starts to really become a physical aspect and you start feeling nauseous or dizzy or hot or anything. So she told me to reset your nervous system, grab a bag of ice and put it on the back of your neck or on your wrist because it starts to like not shock your system, but shock your system from the 
from the cold and like starts to reset your nervous system or um, something called the divers method. I believe she called it. You like pretty much like hang over in, like you get into the sink like this like that, and you just have to like start dousing your upper half. It have just you tried like it yet? freezing. Well, I haven't had a panic attack since that happened, but like I normally have panic attacks. At I least. like your screen here. Thanks. I know. <laughs> That's how my mind works. I normally have panic attacks like twice to three times a week. So I'm expecting one like it always happens. So you're going to have one soon. So you're going to, okay. So you're going to try those out and then you got to get back to us to see if they worked or not. Yeah. She also, how, okay. This might sound naive, but how do you know you're having a panic attack? Um, It depends. Like depending on the level. Like, like, and what exactly is a panic attack to you? A panic attack to me is just like you, your body is fully in fight or flight mode and you cannot control how your body is reacting in that time period. And your mind is just like, this is how mind, mind work at least. Um, I know it can be different for everybody. My breath starts to get like really, really heavy. I obviously am like overwhelmed with emotion. Like I obviously start crying. Like I feel super nauseous and super dizzy. My ears start to like tingle. Um, those are like the physical apps aspects of what happens to me. Um, the mental aspects about what happened to me, I just like start freaking out and think that like I'm going to be killed, like someone's going to come kill me or like I'm going to get hurt or um, like, yeah, just completely irrational things. Like, well, so it could like, be rational. Not that somebody's hunting you, but like it's good to be aware, I guess. Yeah, I, it, it is. But I'm too aware. Like I'll get. Oh, you think everyone like you think every day somebody's trying to kill you? Yeah, that's my thing. Like that's that's. A, a huge point of my anxiety is people invading my space and hurting me. Like that's what my, where my anxiety comes from. It's like, if I hear like one of my worst panic attacks I've had in the, in the past couple of months was I, we all had to quote, we had, we got COVID back in August um, or beginning end of July, beginning of August when we all got COVID. Um, but that was before we knew if Riley had it yet or not. So I had to go quarantine by myself at, her place, because we didn't know if you had it yet or whatever. At your mom's place. At your mom's. I, 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 sorry, at my mom's place. I had to go to quarantine. And she wasn't there. That place holds a lot of trauma for me, and it scares me a lot. It's terrifying. I also cannot sleep by myself in a house by myself. It's like, obviously, when you have co you can't be with people. So I was alone for like a week and a half in that place. And I had one of the worst panic attacks to date where I literally had to, I couldn't move from the living room. I was like literally frozen in fear. Like I could not move. I had to grab a knife and like, I was awake all night. I did not sleep a wink cause I was so scared. Cause I heard laughing like male laughing outside of the door. And I got scared that something was going to happen and they were going to try and break in or they were going to come kill me or literally anything. Like that's how instantaneous it can be. Like freaked out, full on bawling my eyes out. I had to sleep on FaceTime with somebody. Like I literally fell asleep, I think with my grandparents on the phone to me because I was so scared, like so, so terrified that I was going to get killed. Why does your mind immediately go to murder? I don't know. That's why, well, I have a lot of things with like, obviously like trauma and abuse. Like that mm -hmm. just is, but I don't know. I've been that way since a kid. Like immediately I think that I, someone's gonna like, my whole thing is like my physical safety. I think that that's gonna get compromised and that's why my anxiety gets so bad but I have no idea like why, why that is and like where that really, really stems from, um, which is why I'm in therapy and I'm getting help for it because it's not normal to be in that fight or flight mode as much as I am and as often as I am. Like every time I'm like walking anywhere alone, I have someone on the phone with me or I apps, if I can't get someone on the phone with me, I am sprinting to that location because I think it's like my safest bet. It's God awful. It is God awful. It like completely incapacitates yeah it incapacitates me completely to the point where i won't do things i won't pick up calls i won't do things i won't i can't do it like I, my mind just completely stops me from doing it well we're glad you're getting help on it <laughs> no yeah i'm glad i'm getting help on it too because it's really annoying <laughs> you guys have been there when i've had panic attacks yeah i've got a couple of tears and a couple of shirts from them it's war paint. Um, anything happy happened recently? <laughs> so I we went to um, a Netflix event. Thank you. For the oh, new that's what great! I've been saying we had no one even knows what Netflix is. <laughs> we except for really, probably everyone. We went to a lot of streaming things this week. I Net, guess. always um, say this about Netflix. Also not sponsored. You guys put on an amazing. You event. guys put on an event. So Indy and I went together. We go to watch a Halloween. Uh, Halloween. A we go Halloween. To, a we go Christmas to, movie with the new Nina Dobrev. Nina Dobrev one. Love hard about like her getting catfished or something. Uh, listen, I'm not, 
I know a lot of people on this podcast movie um, try to try to pry the door open on certain things that are happening on this podcast, but I will I will give you a little in inside scoop. Indy and I shared a blanket <laughs> while we watched the movie, didn't we? So Tell scandalous. Them. Uh, well, we did. It was a small blanket, so we must have been close. <laughs> anyway, um, um, so we arrived to this event, beautifully decorated. I mean, Christmas trees, lights, those cool red flowers that are on every aunt's Christmas table is everywhere. Poinsettias. Poinsettias. Yes, they are. Um, everywhere we arrive and they offer you hot cocoa or drinks or yeah and that's noodles. all cool blah 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 it was very very nice but guess what i found a room where you take pictures and i found fake bunnies to take pictures with unfortunately i dropped them all that netflix probably bought and i broke most you he broke did. the bunnies. oh yeah yeah they were ears were missing eyes were missing looked, legs were missing like they looked like really expensive stuffed bunnies like they weren't like they weren't they, were, they didn't they, they didn't pick up the little, they might have been taxidermy bunnies for being honest no they weren't well, well, I'm not going to tell people that they were taxidermy bunnies. Why? Because that's weird and wrong. Wrong. Well, okay. Is it wrong? Okay. Hear me out. You can feel however you want about the bunny thing. Honestly, I don't care. Is it wrong? Jared dies. We stuff and we keep in here. I would prefer that. Why? Oh, we just you don't want to be in the ground. Do you want us to freeze your brain in case the Neuralink thing happens pretty fast? We can oh, we can upload your conscious. Yes, please. I want my brain freezed. Brain freeze. Just get a Slurpee, sweetheart. We're on for brainstorm. Feel the thunder. Yeah, I want you to stuff me and sit me at this desk. Wait, <laughs> stop. Can you say that again slower, sweetheart. <laughs> I want to play this stupid game so oh bad. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm. Uh, you can't just tell Zach Justice, who loves games, hey, we're going to be playing a game on the podcast. And then we're almost done with the podcast. I haven't even sniffed a game. I'm, I'm borrowing this game. So, this from, is like Jared at a club. No game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm borrowing this game so, from some friends of ours who also have a podcast. Why don't you um, say who they are? Who is I don't it? know. I don't want to name it? drop. Oh. But does it mean we're actually friends if we're not allowed to say who they are? People are going to find It's Joe out. Rogan. Okay. Anyway. It's not um, what Jared will want to say. Okay. So it's called the Think Fast Game. Think okay. Fast. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to ask each other questions. We're going to ask each other like five questions in a row and you have to answer them instantaneously. Okay. Like okay. The, literally the first thought. This is fun. That pops in your head. Okay. So you, if you take more than a second or two. Meh. Can nah. I do that? Yeah. You can. I actually don't want to. I feel like it might be really annoying because even me, I did it myself and I'm like, that's annoying, kid. Okay. Okay. Then it maybe, won't be done. maybe no meh. What okay. if I go like this? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That seems more subtle. I like it. A little more subtle. I feel like uh, people with ADD are the best to play this game because the most random things come to their mind. But normally my answer to everything is sausage. No, it's got to be an actual answer. I'm going to, I this know. Is, this is not the first word that comes to your head. And why do you think about sausage so much? Okay. Do you guys have your phones on you? Nope. Yeah. I threw mine in a river. Oh, pull up all I'm off the grid now. No one saw that. I saw it. Why'd you turn it off? <laughs> so you were just talking to someone you didn't want us to see it. Uh huh. Who was it? What? Who were you talking to? Oh, I saw oh. who it was. No, Jared's messages popped up on the screen. And, and he well, immediately I disconnected. He ripped out the HDMI cords. So I can, can see. show you guys the message. Oh, yeah. Let's see him, Mr. Immediately rip it out. Immediately disconnected the HDMI because hey, he did not want read us a, to see. Read them to the people. Da, 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 da. Hey, can we harmonize really quick? We're going to It's well, Sing when I sing. Well, you're going, I needed to hear what your freaking note was so I could no, know. No, we're just going to start. You harmonize in the moment. Oh, no, Ready? that's not how harmonizing works. I don't yet. know how harmonizing works. Just come with me. Ready? Sing your line and then I'll harmonize off that. No, can we start at the same time? I'm real nervous. Fine. Now. Ready? One, two, three. It's, it's beginning, beginning to look, look a lot like, like Christmas. Christmas. To all right, so what was it? Jared, you sent us something? Would we get copyrighted for that? Because that was beautiful. Uh, no, you can't get copyrighted ever again. I talked to everybody. Okay. <laughs> um, what order should we go in? Who Are these honest answers or just the first thing that comes to our head? First thing that comes to your head, which could arguably be the most honest answer. So who do I ask this to? Who do you want to ask it to? I have no idea, ask Jared. Me. I don't want to play favorites. I'll, ask, I'll tell Indy because she was assertive, but I'm going to tell Jared because he doesn't want to be a pushover anymore. Fill in the blank. Taylor wait, Swift is. Oh, wait, are you asking me or Indy? Uh, you. I thought you were asking Indy. No, I was asking ask Indy. Why? No, just Because she him. said she was being assertive. Yeah, and you said you want to be more assertive, so that's why I was asking you. Just ask Jared. Just ask Indy. God, you got Jared, paper, scissors, rock. No, it's rock, paper, rock, scissors. Paper, you already lost. I'm asking you for that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, ready? Okay. Fill in the blank. Taylor right. Swift is hot. Whoa, really? Uh, you think that? <laughs> well, yeah, she's pretty. She's okay, attractive. well, hot take. <laughs> uh, tea Room is going to be spewing about this one. <laughs> uh, okay, ask Jared now. You have to ask. No, him you got to go in no, a row. Go. 
Oh, I have to ask you all of them? Yeah. Okay. Like it's super fast. First celebrity crush. Uh, Haley Steinfeld. Give me an inspirational quote. The f- Shake and bake. <laughs> Say a word in Spanish. Puta. You. <laughs> Why can't we tickle ourselves? Because we're dead inside. This is a fun game, huh? <laughs> okay. It's I real like sad. I'm saying it's a fun game. He said we're dead inside. You guys are oh. too emotional. <laughs> God. Oh, okay. If okay. I came up with the worst game ever, you said it was the worst game, I'd chug along. You guys okay. are crying about it. Okay. Now, who who should Don't I ask? Don't ask me. I want to be asked. Okay. I'll ask I'll ask Indy. Who's All right. Indy? What does a person need to be happy? Uh, money. Why are women complicated? Because uh, hormones. If you could ask God one question, what would it be? Uh, why cancer? Um, Make a sound nobody's heard before. Ah! I've, I've heard, heard that. that. I've heard know. that before. I've heard that a few times. What's the definition of triscodecophobia? Uh, f- like the holes and things? <laughs> That's also my porn up search. The, the, uh, the holes and things. Yeah. <laughs> holes and things. <laughs> Just show me holes and things. <laughs> no, that's um, <laughs> triphobia or something, right? I know trick the something. Trichotil, no, no, trichotillomania. That's, that's the hair pulling tricky, thing. Tricky, tricky. Okay, <laughs> Indy, you ask Zach. Why is winter cold? Because of snow. You got to answer faster. But that's true. Zach, <laughs> answer faster. Okay, go again. Yeah, I've already asked a question. Well, I didn't hear it. <laughs> Why is winter cold? Uh, because the snow. Why do you, how do you greet the devil? I say, hello, how you doing? What's that smell? Oh, that's a little fart from Jerry. <laughs> What's your favorite U.S. city? Oh, I'd have to go with Wiscatchewan. <laughs> what? If I had to pick one. Nickname your parents used to call you. I was going to say the beaten and abused. <laughs> and I didn't want to because that's not true. Because they would give me hugs, obviously. Oh, my God. Man, that's probably something for my psyche. I got to. Yeah. Is maybe this you game? should go see her therapist. Yeah. What's her number? No, we can't share a therapist. Are we going again? That was a fun game. Okay, yeah, we, we're going again. Okay, I'll ask you. Well, should you ask Indy? Oh, yeah, you should ask <sighs> I hate talking to her. Uh, would you rather be besties with Beyonce or Rihanna? Rihanna. What sound does a seal make? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to play that Can we next to the no, sound of an actual podcast <laughs> anymore. The next thing, going to follow up with this. No way you're going to get this right after that statement. Say something cool. Ooh, rad. What is the best animal in the world? A dog. Oh, you were opinionated on that one. <laughs> <laughs> a dog. Trust me. Trust me. I've done my research. What's a country you'd be okay with never visiting? North Korea. <laughs> Good answer. Six reasons. <laughs> Who inspires you? North Dakota. <laughs> so. I thought you were going to say oh. Northwest. <laughs> Northwest does inspire me. Dead or alive, who's your top dinner guest? Um, I'd probably have sex with Danny DeVito. What? The question was who you'd have sex with. Yeah, well, if it goes there, then it goes there, Jared. Don't cock block me. What is the best animal in the world? Jared, when he's drinking two Red Bull and he's ready to get out on for the night. I agree with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome back to Dropouts, episode 77. I accidentally restarted, Jared. We have to do another hour? That's oh, the gosh. rules. Um, do you even say what's up B-words anymore? I didn't, well, I missed the intro today. What's up, B-words? Welcome back to Dropouts. Um, thank you so much, guys, for listening. Um, if you stay till the end, make sure to... Set, try to find the best chocolate chip cookie recipe. Oh, so I, make I really need to get better at making because those. we've been doing really bad, and we'll try out a few of them and like we'll judge. We we'll taste test them. We should do a taste test on. We the could podcast do a taste test week. on the podcast. Knowing our track record, we will not actually do the cookie thing, but send them anyway, and we'll try our best. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Dropouts. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. That's Jaybird Music. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram at Dropouts Pod, and we'll see you guys next week for another podcast. We have a really, really cool guest coming on next week, so I should, you should definitely watch. It was Indiana, was it? <laughs> Goodbye. Dude, I have not caught her name. What was it 77? It's episodes? awkward when you go a super long conversation no, with somebody. I, I've and never don't. known her name, and now I know it. It's like, I'll find that. It is, ah, tip of my tongue.